Hello, in this presentation, we will compare QuickBooks Online versus QuickBooks Desktop. Hello, in this presentation, we're going to set up customer jobs or subcontractors as they're called within QuickBooks Online. We will have a comprehensive QuickBooks Online course soon, if not available yet. We also have a comprehensive Excel course which complements the QuickBooks courses and a QuickBooks Pro desktop version course you can find at the link below. Here we are in the QuickBooks Online dashboard. We will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. We're going to be entering or adding customer jobs or as they're called in the online version, sub-customers. Jobs or sub-customers can be really important if we want to track the costs of a particular item for a particular project. And they're used in construction, but they're also used in any type of service business that really is going to track the type of projects that are going to be independent. So if we're not charging a fixed fee, but we want to put the actual fees of the costs that we are incurring on an invoice, that's one way that we often could use the jobs. And if we're any type of service company, including a bookkeeper, a law firm, but any other type of service, uh, we might want to customize our job by putting the expenses and tracking the cost, especially time, uh, by particular jobs and then bill out those particular jobs even though they are for the same customer. So to do that, we're going to go to the sales item. So we're on the sales tab and we want to be on the customer tab on the uh, upper side. We will then see our list of customers down here. So we have all of our customers. And what we want to do is really have a sub customer. So if, for example, if we had Eric Music here, what we want to see is a sub job for Eric Music that we can track a particular costs to one particular project that we may be doing. We're going to create a sub customer or job related to Jones Guitars. If you're used to the desktop version, you would click on Jones Guitars and you would set up not a customer, but a job. In this case, we're going to use a bit different type of options in order to set this up with the online version. We're going to go to uh, new customers and you'll notice within the customer field, the only required field here, although we have all this information, is this item here. And that's what we want to have. We want to just name it a job. It's going to be 3005. We're just going to have a number here. We're not going to put a name or a company because it's related to another customer. So this is how we're going to create the job, which is they're going to call a sub customer because they have this sub customer setting. So we can select this icon and then it's going to say, hey, well, you need a customer then. And we're going to say that the customer that we want, you can select the drop down and or, of course, type in Jones Guitars as well. It'll auto populate as most fields do. And there is that information. And then you can have the billing option. Do we want to bill it with the parent, with Bill Jones, or uh, bill it as a separate entity, bill uh, as this customer separately? So we're going to keep the default setting here, and that's how we're going to set up the job. So really just setting up a new customer, and then clicking this item. It's not going to be called a job here. It's going to be called a sub-customer, and uh, we're going to just put in the job number here. If we then say save then, we'll see that if we scroll down through our customers, we have the Jones Guitars here. So here's Jones Guitars and here's the job 3005 as a subcategory. Now we can track the cost in this subcategory and bill uh, Jones Guitar for the cost related to a particular job. Let's do this one more time. So we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna have Sam the Guitar Man and just like Jones Guitars up here, we wanna have a subcategory, a sub job that we're just gonna say a number a 4002 that we can then track. So in order to do that, we're just gonna scroll up to the top. We're gonna to say new, and we're just gonna type in the number then, which is gonna be 4002 in the display field. And we wanna have that subcategory of another customer, that customer then being uh, Sam the Guitar Man. And so we can hit the drop down and we can just type in Sam the Guitar Man and it auto populates. We're gonna select Sam and then say save and there is our information here so i'm going to go back to the sales item and then customers tab and if we scroll down then we have sam then we have the subcategory of the 4002 for the job or sub customer so keep in mind if you're working with uh, contractors or other people that use the job cost system you're probably going to hear the word job a lot referring to these items uh, and if you're working with QuickBooks Online folks, then you might also hear the word uh, sub-customer and you want to just be able to relate those two. They're really talking about uh, the same thing when you go from software to software and just from terminology in terms of what's going on in terms of tracking costs per job 
or sub-customer. Hello, in this presentation, we're going to talk about the creation of customer jobs within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you have been following along with us, we will be continuing along with the Get Great Guitars. If not, that is okay. We're going to show how to set up jobs for customers. If you have the backup file up to this point in time, you can restore that by going to File, Open and Restore Company. That will get us to the same point in time in terms of the data. We will be entering data. So it is useful if you're following along with the problem to get that data at the same point so that uh, we're all working on the same area. And we have the home tab open here. I'm going to show where the home tab is. It's in the company and home tab. I also like to have the uh, view open items list here, which is in the view tab. Open windows list. going to click on that. We see then that we have these windows open. That's what we have at this time. I'm actually going to close a couple of them just to have the one window of the home page. Now we're going to work on creating a job for a customer. Jobs can be useful in many different ways. One of the main ways that we're going to use the job is to apply particular costs to a particular job for a particular customer. So if we have a customer that we are doing uh, multiple jobs for, it could be useful for us to track the individual jobs uh, for a particular customer individually. And then when we create the invoice, we can track the uh, information within the invoice to uh, a particular job. So for example, if we were tracking time, if we had kind of a job cost system, and we were tracking the time that we have and we put in and the people and our staff are putting in, then we would want to track that to a particular customer and possibly to a particular job. And then when we invoice, we can apply that job, uh, that time to that particular job and create the invoice based on it. So that's one of the major functions that uh, creating jobs could use. They're going to be a versatile tool. That's what we're mainly going to be using it for. So let's see how we would set up a job for a customer. As First, we're going to go to the customer center. So we could go here. I'm going to go to the drop down because it's always an area we can go to no matter where we're at within the program. So we're going to go to customers, customer center. And then here is our customer center. We only have a few clients that we will be working with here in order to create jobs for. We're going to create a job for Jones Guitar. So that's going to be right here. In order to create the job, you must first click on uh, Jones Guitar. So we want to be on that particular customer. Once we are, then we can go up to the new customer and job item here. Select that drop down and we can add not a new customer, but a job. When we do so, it will add that new job below the current customer. So we're going to say add new job. And all we're going to do on the new job is add the job number. So we're just going to say this is a job number. It's already related to, as you can see, the company name of Jones Guitars. So really all we want here is the new number 33005. In this case, is going to be the number we are going to apply. I'm going to keep the, the dates. Um, we don't really, the dates aren't going to affect anything as long as they're before the date that we're actually going to be entering data into. And so then we're going to have Jones Guitar, and I'm not going to fill out any of the further information, just keeping the job here as it relates to our customer, Jones Guitar. Then we're going to go ahead and say, say, or OK. And as you can see, we then have the Jones Guitar, and then here's going to be the job related to Jones Guitar. If we were then to create an invoice and we wanted to create an invoice for Jones Guitar but specific to that particular job, tracking what we're doing for that particular job, the maintenance on a guitar for that particular job, we would then go to the home and just for demonstration. If we went to the create invoice, then rather than typing in Jones, we can type in 3005. There's the job. And if we tab through that, we'll then have it related to the customer of Jones. And that will be uh, the information that we can put in related to the particular job for a particular customer. So I'm going to close this out. We're not going to record this. I'm going to close that out. And we're going to create a custom, a couple more uh, jobs here, or at least one more job for another customer. And so we're going to go back to the customer center. So here is the customer center within the open windows tab. And the next one we're going to create is for Sam 
the guitar man. So I'm going to make this a bit larger so we can see the full name. There is Sam. We need to click on the name. And once we are on the name, we're going to go up to a new customer and job. And we're going to create not a new customer, but a new uh, add a job. And the job in this case, all we need is going to be the number. And that number will be for us 4002. This is going to be related particularly to that particular customer. And that's all we really need here will be that data. All the other data related to the customer within uh, the customer field. So I'm going to say OK. And there's the job uh, related to Sam the Guitar Man. And we can then apply any information that we're recording for that customer to a particular job and then build that particular job. So those are going to be the two jobs we're setting up now just to show how to set up the jobs. We'll be working with invoicing later and show how we can tie an invoice out to a particular job and what that will look like, what the effect will be on that and what that can do for us in practice.